Business leaders need to change their view of risk and senior management, particularly CROs or chief risk officers, have a critical role to play. But to succeed, they need to be directly involved in shaping strategy at board level, and often they aren't. Well, to find out more, let's meet Sam Balaji, Global Business Leader for Risk Advisory at the professional services company Deloitte. I'm Sarah Lockett. Welcome to the Business Debate. Sam, welcome to the London Stock Exchange Studios. Thank you for having me, Sarah. So first of all, how do we need to change our perception of risk? Risk and opportunity are flip sides of the same coin. Historically, risk has been viewed about mitigation of things that could go wrong and how you avoid them. Look at economic changes, uh, disruption due to cybersecurity issues, conduct risk, which impairs band and reputation, other things. But we have an opportunity now to use risk as a strategic enabler and actually use it to power performance and we see leading organizations doing that. And you want us to intelligently embrace risk. So what would be some good examples of that? Yeah, technology disruption is happening everywhere. If you look at the world of retail and e-commerce, that has completely transformed consumer experiences as well as how businesses ought to go about shaping their ecosystems. Uh, connected cars and autonomous vehicles is another area where there's so much change and it is so profound the velocity of change is very different from what it used to be, and that presents new opportunities for companies to differentiate and reposition themselves in the marketplace and win. So are these things risk, or are they just taking advantage of new technology? Most of it is that. There's conduct risk, which comes back to people. Technology is a big component of that, but the human element, and particularly things where your brand and reputation is impaired, is a big deal. We see companies thinking about that a lot in boardrooms today. And so we need to, as you say, create value out of risk management, so make the product or service better for the end consumer. And do you see any really good examples of that? Yeah, like I said, the world of retail is completely transformed with e-commerce, customer preferences, consumer detail, actually borderless movement of commerce. That's also been reshaping things very, very well. We see the world of ecosystems where companies don't try to do it alone. They actually go and team with others that bring complementary skills taking new risks, but embracing new opportunities. And so what are the leading companies doing about this? Who's doing it well, who's doing it badly? Leading companies think of risk as something that can power performance. The chief risk officer has a critical role to play, and that person needs to be teamed with the strategy officer and be a member of executive management. Boardrooms also have to be a lot more savvier about how they view risk, especially as it relates to the business of tomorrow. Many companies are focused on the here and now, but with the pace and the velocity of change, they really have to move much faster to look around the corners and develop the business agility they need. So you mentioned the CROs, the chief risk officer, and most companies do have one, but are most of them using them in the best way that they could? Not today. So historically, it has always been as a defensive exercise about protecting value. I think there's a value creation component, particularly long-term value creation, that the chief risk officer can do. We just did a survey, 87% of clients said they view risk as something that can enable performance, but only 20% of them actually use it in reality. So there's a gap between perception and philosophy. And what's the role of the board overall here? Because would you say maybe a lot of board members don't maybe understand risk? Board is really focused on long-term value creation, which is the right thing to do. But sometimes, again, they're much more focused on the business of today. The velocity of change that is sweeping the enterprises today is profound, much more different from the last couple of decades. I do think board composition is at the heart of it, where diversity of thought and opinion and giving complementary people that understand your marketplaces, understand the technology disruption is important. And CROs actually get to participate a lot more in board meetings, particularly with the onset of cyber. Cyber is here as the new constant, and it's important for them to be secure, vigilant, and resilient as they go about navigating that complex landscape. And there's a huge amount of uncertainty in the global economy, uh, plus disruption that keeps changing. So how do companies keep up with that with their risk strategy? Yeah, this is not a once and done. They're gonna be constantly looking for refreshes as events change. You know, recently, just given changes in government and policies, supply chains have to get reorganized and reoriented. Everybody's optimized for what happens today, but you have to look at the business of tomorrow and then use artificial intelligence, analytics, and other tools that you have today that you didn't have 10, 20 years ago when you set up these things to differentiate and win. Well, Sam, on that note, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. And join us next time when we'll be discussing the latest innovations in MBA education 
and sustainability. Bye-bye for now.